This is a Robin Hood video production. Da da da. Hi there. I'm Dave Householder, and I am blessed to be the pastor of the happiest church on earth, Robin Hood Church. And Robin Hood Church, I believe, is three years old today. Now, some of you are brand new, and some of you have been around since uh, the very beginning, but my son and his girlfriend made Nutella cake. And I'd like to show that to you. It's really good. It's still the strawberries there. And uh, I'm just going to celebrate the birthday by having some cake. And I'm going to have you have a piece of it. Uh, there we go. With me. I'm not sure how to exactly get it up to the microphone or camera. But we need to celebrate uh, the fun we've had as a congregation. And we're only three years old. So in human years, we're just toddlers. We're just kind of figuring out how to toddle. We're trying to figure out what we're about, just kind of learning what our name is, what our identity is, and which direction to go. As the church gets older, we start to figure out more and more about uh, what it is we're about, what God's calling us to do, just like with a person. And we are so blessed to have you along for the ride. So blessings on you, and thanks for your participation in this uh, most amazing community. I've got a clock here because I want you to do something on Saturday. I want you to take your clock. And when you go to bed, you turn it forward an hour. This Saturday night, Sunday morning, is spring forward. It's fall back, spring forward. And spring forward, unfortunately, means we lose an hour. So I'd like to invite you to make sure that when you go to bed, it's 10.30, move it forward to 11.30. Get to bed early, get up on time, make it to church on time, and you will be ready to go by Monday. You know, we churchgoers get a whole extra day here of figuring out how to do this whole time change thing. So we'd love to have you on time, on church, on time, in church, on Sunday. Alpha Course. We'd love to have you come to Alpha. We've had our intro night this last Sunday, and our first session, Who is Jesus, is coming up this Sunday at 5 o'clock, including dinner. Alpha is for everybody, and we'd love to make sure that you get a chance to come to that or bring somebody who you'd like to have exposed to the Christian faith. We've got six full tables, which is amazing for a church our size. We're doing it together with Amistad Church, and we've got a couple tables actually with earphones doing Spanish. So if you've got Spanish-speaking friends, we'd love to get them connected with this ministry also. His Nesting Place is going to be our next major initiative as a congregation. Start praying even now. His Nesting Place is an amazing ministry offering a place to live and things to do for women who have nowhere else to go, who want to be able to keep their kids, and if they were in a more stable situation, they'd be able to. And so they decide not to have abortions to keep their children. And there's between five and 6,000 kids walking, um, walking the streets of our state and uh, just out there and living life. And it's all because of the ministry of his nesting place that these kids are alive. You could fill a, a pretty large hockey rink or basketball arena with the children who are, are now alive thanks to that ministry. So we definitely want you to start praying for them. We're going to be doing a lot more together with them as a congregation. Are You Ready is our new sermon series, which is on the end times. Now, let me put it this way. The end times is not about knowing the dates and the times. It's about knowing the seasons, the Bible tells us. And we don't get prepared by controlling the outcome or figuring out all the steps, we get prepared by getting closer to Jesus, by knowing God's power. And we're going to talk about God's power coming up this weekend. And if you missed our intro to the, to the uh, topic, we invite you to look back on last week's podcast. Barbecue, March 22nd. We have a hike on the 4th of April. You can check that out on our website. Or on our group, our Facebook group, if you've got a Facebook page, we'd like you to get on the Robin Wood Church Facebook group. All you have to do is go up to that little box in the uh, upper corner and type in Robin Wood Church, and up will come our group. We'd love to have you become a part of that. Our colony ministry is going to be kicking into high gear this summer after Alpha. We've already got a volunteer to host the Long Beach Colony, and a colony is a big house full of people that uh, prays together uh, worships together, learns together, and eats together. We're going to have four or five sessions in the summer every other week, and we're going to be doing that also in Orange County. So if you'd like to volunteer your home and open it up four or five times during the summer to have a house full of people, we'd love to uh, 
love to have you do that. Some of you bought your home so that you could entertain, and this is a chance for you to give that spiritual gift back to back to the church. Curcio, we've had six people go through Curcio in the last two weeks. Susan Cunningham, Diane Melton, Rory Woodbury, Louis Hungate, Tom Melton, and Nathan DeFriest. And uh, go ahead and give them a hug in church and ask them how it went for them. If you haven't gone to Curcio, we'd love to have you get connected in, I think, about three or four months when we have our next weekends. We're allotted three spots for men and three spots for women for our congregation. We'd love to have you be one of those people. Well, that's it. That's all I know at this point. Love to see you Sunday. Once again, remember to uh, uh, get your clock set and have a great Friday night and a great Saturday. We'll see you on Sunday as we praise God together and look at God's Word in Luke 21. Take care. We'll talk to you later. Bye.